Hey guys, so I'm going to cover how you can disable this light box option. And this zoom effect option and as well as the slider effect into your WooCommerce website. I just think that it's not necessary for me to put that or to keep that features enabled into this browser website because people really don't need to preview this, you know, picture. So anyway, you need to have a child theme. It's super important because if the if you put the code into the parent theme, then every time the theme make changes, then the the the, the updates or the changes that you did will also also disappears. So it's really important that you use a child theme. So I have this DV child theme in here. And if you don't know what child theme is, I have a tutorial for you that you can check. It's in here or maybe on the link description below. So check my link description for more information. So go into the theme file editor and go to the functions.php. So under the functions PHP, we need to declare a function to remove the basic or the default features that WooCommerce um, already set up. So, so when you go into the remove theme support, and it's by the way, a syntax of WordPress, um, that is, this is the syntax that we need to follow to deregister the features that is default in WooCommerce. And this is the syntax mm by the way so you need to declare a function so i'm going to put in a word here function and then the name, name of that so remove um extra preview you can use whatever you what you prefer um on that so functions remove extra preview and then the other code in here is you need to um call this one the so-called um, remove underscore theme support functions and the opposite of that if you want to add a, a function or a, a feature into your WordPress is you can use the add underscore theme support so yeah I'm going to use this one okay and we will so you need to call the feature that you want to be removed so I'll go into the WooCommerce WooCommerce um, light box. Actually, I already have the name in here, but you can um, find it on the WooCommerce documentation. Here, WooCommerce documentation. But I already have this file in here. So these are the the features that I want to deregister or remove. So I want to deregister the this one. And let me just copy everything in here and my sticky notes as well. So here, and then after you already declare the the um, feature that you want to do register, we can then call this um, function called remove extra preview to make it work. So if we go in, in here, there is an add action. We can have that. And then we need to call the after setup theme. So this is really the, um, this is the like explanation behind, by the way. So this is also a reserve thing. And then we need to follow this function. And then we can come up just what it is advice in this documentation we can set a priority fire so i can have something like 11 or 10 whatever you prefer okay add action i think i'm good with that okay so if we preview that and if you refresh this so the um if you check here the zoom one is no longer um available so the zoom one is gone and if you click this still here 
Um, we still have a problem, but the light box and the zoom and the slider is already gone. But the problem right now is it redirects to the source file. So it's a different story. So the other thing you can do is to declare a CSS. So right click, inspect elements, and then we need to target this um, class in here called WooCommerce hyphen gallery hyphen uh, WooCommerce hyphen product hyphen gallery underscore underscore image. So we can target this one and then A for the hyperlink and point, pointer events hold none. Okay, I'm going to copy this code in here and paste it on the CSS here. Copy. And if I refresh that, click it, like it's not, it's no longer clickable. Okay, this is still clickable. This is still clickable. But if they go into the preview, I don't want them to click this. I don't want them to go to the source file. And if the code is too much for you, you also have an alternative using the plugin mode. So you just need to visit to the wordpress.org that plugins, okay? And then you can look for the WooCommerce um, preview. I mean, the developer already come up with something easier for you. Um, WooCommerce, I think, Lightbox. So these are just the plugins that Wook created that you can just, you know, remove or disable the preview easily. So you can have that go into the plugin section, but I just don't really, <clears throat> I mean, if I still can put it on the code, I, as much as possible, I avoid putting a lot of plugins into the website to avoid, you know, overbloating. But yeah, if the code is too much for you, there are a lot of plugins that you can use like WooCommerce. Um, so also when you do, when you, um, what do you call that? When you look for a plugin, make sure that you check the downloads if it is reasonable. Like this one is great, 10,000 is fine. They updated it last one month ago. That's good to, to know. So again, if that is, the goal that you are trying to achieve into your WooCommerce website, then check out my notes below for more information. And again, hope this, you find this helpful. If you're liking this video, don't forget to subscribe and click the bell notification to receive new videos from me.